a garden video. If you didn't hear me the first time, it's a garden video. There, right down in the front there, are some strawberries. And that is the garlic that's growing. All those white things that you see everywhere, like snow, is actually elm seeds. So yes, there is an elm tree. It's not in this yard, but it, it is absolutely horrible. Um, anyway, here's more garlic, beautiful garlic. And um, those little green sprouts you see down there are New Zealand spinach, which will be coming to fruition soon enough. Again, more elm seeds mixed in. More elm seeds on all of the gravel, which means there will be elm seedlings. Yay. Um, and here there are, those are different types of squash that are trying to pop up through the dirt amongst the elm seeds. Um, some of them are going to be pretty unusual. One of them is a uh, baked potato squash. Another one is a, um, it's called the Geet Okomisen, and it's this giant squash. Um, and then we've got um, just a bunch of different ones, funny ones that I found. There's some garbage that blew in, and more squash here. That's spaghetti squash starting there and in the center we've got what is that um oh that's the low carb squash and then there's more trying to start everywhere over here that's um what is this this is lovage which tastes like a bit like um celery it's great for soups and things and in here is more elm seeds and carrots that are trying desperately to grow and those are radishes that are tiring desperately to grow but they're doing really well over here we've got cucumbers which are the front front runners there and um, in here which is trying to grow is um, summer squash and zucchini i think summer squash is basically a green zucchini and the other one that's just got the sole little sprout there so far is um, golden zucchini and in here is a bunch of different kinds of lettuces so um, i'm going to start eating this pretty quick so we've got um, butter lettuce and uh, just romaine lettuce and different types of bronze lettuce and that's cat lettuce um, named tiggy cat lettuce she thinks the garden's pretty fantastic. And, and then here we've got uh, three different types of collard greens, more elm seeds, um, and then some New Zealand spinach, which takes a lot longer to grow off the bat. And I'm not sure what this is. I have to peek. Oh, that's arugula, which I promised I would never plant again, but now I'm going to grow it. And the intention with this batch is to, that I will not let it flower because I don't want to have it growing everywhere again. This pot's supposed to grow peanuts, but it looks like it's not going to. And then we've got some flowers, nicotina, which are the pink and the blue ones that are flowering. The ones that aren't flowering are um, nasturtiums, <laughs> sorry, which are edible. This giant thing here is horseradish. Um, of which I've never dug up because the soil that's in there is so gross that I'm sure that there is uh, poison happening in it. Um, anyway, and then here is some chives. And these are blackberries that I have to plant and raspberry that I have to plant. And then we start with the tomatoes. So we've got one tomato there, which is a a black beauty tomato and that's another black beauty tomato these are egyptian walking onions that aren't walking anywhere because they're trapped in a, in a container and here's another um, black beauty tom there the year here is some more egyptian walking onions which started last year with one plant and now have created a monstering row here is um, the Hascap or honeyberries and strawberries and a raspberry in the center. 
with a blackberry on the end and then more tomatoes and these tomatoes were just planted today um, they got a little bit yellowed from being kept in their little pots for too long but it, I was afraid that they might not make it through the cold nights which they're not really all that cold but anyway um, more tomatoes I've got um, mushroom mushroom basket tomatoes which are large heritage tomatoes I've got um, queen of the night tomatoes which are a dark purple tomato and then I've got um, uh, black crims which are also a dark tomato Cherokee purple toms also a dark tomato and then more Cherokee and then we've got the Castorello Genovese tomatoes which are supposedly the most beautiful tomato ever ever grown or eaten we'll see once we get some and there's lots of different other ones mixed in there and at the end there's more hascap berries or honey berries um, so and then there's a, a few patches of garlic that are coming up out of nowhere that I'm letting grow there because why not and across the back are some beans that volunteered themselves so we'll let those grow as well and then over here excuse the mess of that are all of the pepper plants so we've got scotch bonnets there's 12 scotch scotch bonnet plants we've got some pumas uh, puma peppers some sereno peppers apocalypse scorpions um, death spirals and um, what are these ones Oh, these are uh, Mexican, is it one of some sort, bueno mulas. Oops. And then we've got poblenos at the end there. There's 12, 12 of those because poblenos are yummy. This is a apple tree that a deer happily ate the top off of. And then we've got happening here, um, eggplants. So we've got two, four, six eggplants, seven eggplants, and then more tomatoes. There's four tomatoes in there. That had no place to live and five tomatoes in there that had no place to live and then a bunch of more peppers which are all trying desperately to survive um, and yeah so that's the garden so far um, I have an elderberry tree to plant probably tomorrow and then of course some green berries but or not green berries some beans what a crazy person I am anyway and I have all this grass to weed out of this because it's just nasty. But the irises are beautiful. And uh, that's it for today. Bye.